Hi guys, it's Teresa here. Welcome back to my channel. I apologize for the lighting. It is not very good tonight because I am in my bedroom right now and my um, other light is burnt out. So, um, yeah. So in my last video, my update video, I talked about what specialties I want to go into as a technician. Um, and that was like, that was four different specialties. I, I'm aware it's going to take a little bit. I mean, you can go into them as an assistant, but I'm not sure how many they will let an assistant specialize in and all that. I would have to talk to the extern, the veterinarian that is helping me with my externship. And, um, once I'm a tech, I can do more skills related to related in those fields. Now, let me, let me describe more about what fields, why I want to go into them and what they have to do, well, why they're so interesting to me. So first dentistry, veterinary dentistry is a very interesting field. Um, if an animal develops any gingivitis or early um, gum disease or early dental disease, it can be, um, it's good that you caught it right away because it could have progressed into periodontitis. And if periodontitis doesn't get treated, it um, can affect other parts of the body, cause other infections, and um, you wouldn't, it's bad if that happens, obviously. Also, um, dental disease, also called periodontitis, um, need, it involves a lot of intervention and antibiotics and a lot of dental cleanings and usually tooth removal and that's stressful on the pet and it causes the pay, a lot, pet a lot of pain once it goes through that. So that is one of the fields. Um, I have, I think it takes around, I think it said like five years in practice and like you had to be working in a veterinary clinic and assisting with those procedures for, um, I think 10 years. So it's going to take me a while to get into that field. The next field I'm talking about is, um, small and exotic mammal medicine. Well, I discovered this once I job shadowed somewhere. Um, it was a veterinary hospital in Michigan in on 17 in Garfield. And they mostly deal with um, small and exotic animals. So once I job shadowed, I went in on almost every um, exam they had that day. And I saw so many different animals. I saw turtles. I saw snakes, I saw an iguana, believe it or not, um, cats and dogs, and a bunch of those. I think on my way out, I saw a sugar glider. Uh, I think I was there for like six hours that day, and it was for school, for one of my classes. But once I did that job shadow, I really realized that that was one of the fields I wanted to go into. Because there's so many different species and there's so many different diseases having to do with those species and I just think it's really cool and the animals are super cute and it's an interesting field to go into. That has to do with mostly like pocket pets like guinea pigs, rats, mice, um, bunny rabbits, hamsters, all those kinds of pets and snakes and turtles and frogs, and cats and dogs. It's a really cool field. So there's another specialty that I want to talk about in a little bit, a little bit. I want to go into. Um, the third one would be emergency and critical care medicine. I job shadowed, well no I didn't job shadow, technically. Kind of. Well, I did some of an externship at 
BCA Animal Hospital in St. Clair Shores. And I think I saw my first emergency case there. I didn't get to help with it because obviously I'm not staff. But um, I saw what they did. They, it was a, ch um, it was, I don't know if I'm allowed to speak over the, the, what case it was, but it was a very interesting case and I wanted to see everything because um, I love emergency cases. Um, and once I saw that, I was like, well, I've known I've wanted to be an emergency and critical care veterinarian for a while. Um, for a while. And, um, we'll talk first, then that, obviously. Um, but I used to, I watch TV shows on, like, Animal Planet and all that. And I watch mostly, like, Dr. Oakley or Dr. D and... They have some emergency cases, and it's so interesting to me how, like, what kind of cases they can get and how um, many procedures they have to do to fix the animal or um, how everybody is so involved and how you have to be on your feet at all times when it's an emergency case because anything could happen possibly well anything could happen to the animal it's very very hard to tell when it's an emergency case like say like a dog got ran over by a car obviously that's an emergency case because the dog could have multiple injuries it could have broken ribs it could it could have internal bleeding all that kind of stuff and you have to be on your feet and you have to know what you're doing when you're dealing with an emergency case because that animal's life is in your hands basically <laughs> with all the staff that is dealing with the animal so that's another another um uh, specialty that i want to go into <clears throat> the third the fourth one is surgery i've seen TV shows, and I've always wanted to see a veterinary surgery. I've never seen one, but I think it's so interesting to see watching surgeries and like, well, not watching, but helping with surgeries and knowing um, about what procedures the veterinarian's doing and all the. all the like incisions and stuff it, I'm weird but uh, like I'm trying to explain like the aspect of like assisting and eventually doing it myself and um, saving animals lives by doing that doing life-saving surgeries on animals um, different body systems I just think it's amazing I think that veterinary surgical technology has changed as well and it's very cool to me and I would love to go into that field those fields can depend um I think surgery takes a while too but I have no idea I haven't looked into that yet but I am very 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 interested in all those fields um Oh yeah, I was going to tell you guys about like the externship part of the program, of the program that I'm in right now. So I think there's about a hundred different skills that I have to do during this externship. It's like, it's two or three months long. I'm sorry about that. Um, and... And most of them, some of them have to do with receptionist duties, examination room procedures, lab procedures, um, radiology, all that kind of stuff, and even like surgical prep. So I'm very excited to bring you on my journey at the end of the day. Like I said, 
um, after my externships. Um, and thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.